Good day everyone, my name's Sam. Um, I'm a high risk work licensed trainer and assessor up here in Cairns and I work um, at ProLift Training and Assessment from time to time and I'm here to show you the easy way to do your calculations uh, in your license to perform rigging at a basic level assessment. This uh, video doesn't just apply to students. Uh, I think that some assessors, when they see this video, will realise that I found out a, a pretty easy way to um, show everyone how to uh, perform these calculations. Anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, the first part of the equation is you've got 60 kilograms of lifting gear. Well, not the equation, the problem. We've got 60 kilograms of lifting gear. The load weighs 4,940 kilograms. So chuck that into our calculator. 60 plus 4,140 equals 5,000 kilograms. We'll do that twice just to make sure we've got it. I'd suggest you do that in your exam as well. 5,000. And we'll convert that to tons. What we'll do is we will... Put that in here, five ton. Now we know how much it weighs with the jewelry and the actual load. We've got an ungrooved drum here. So your instructor should have already talked to you about grooved and ungrooved drums and the advantages and disadvantages of that. Let's not um, get too hooked up on this, but we have the equation here. If it was grooved, It'll be 12 here, but it's ungrooved, so we've got 19 here. The distance to the lead block, so what we're trying to work out here is that minimum distance. Distance to the lead block equals the width of the ungrooved drum, which is 0.6. That's it there. 0.6. Zero point six times, oh sorry, divided by two times nineteen equals. Let's chuck it into our calculator. Point six times, oh sorry, point six, point six divided by two times nineteen equals five point seven meters. Five. 0.7 meters. Let's check it. 0.6 divided by 2 times 19 equals 5.7 meters. So the minimum distance we need to have from that ungrooved drum end to that lead block is 5.7 meters. If that was grooved, we would use 12 instead of 19. However, that's not part of this equation. Um, you will get both in your national assessment instrument. So you need to understand the grooved and the ungrooved, but your instructor should teach you that. Load in the lead rope. Okay, so the lead rope is this. Let's show you a draw. This is the lead rope, and that's the lead rope too. So we're trying to work out the load in the lead rope. The Beckett load, so there's two parts of this. The Beckett load equals the load divided by the parts in the purchase. So the Beckett is here. Right. The parts in the purchase is here. That's the purchase. We have a rope running up here, a wire rope, or yeah, it would be a wire rope running up here. It hits the sheave once, once there. Goes down, hits it again there. And goes up and hits it again there. So there is three parts in this purchase because it hits the rope, the, the rope hits the sheave twice there and once there. So there are three parts in this purchase. Beckett load equals load divided by parts in purchase. So the load is five ton. The parts in purchase is three, two up there and one down the bottom. Five, five divided by three equals one 
And this is the important part. I've got a calculator here. If I do this, 5 divided by 3 equals, I end up with this amazingly long answer. To make it easier for RTOs and students, this is the best calculator to have. Okay, You've got to have a round on Roundup and then add 2. They sell these at uh, Officeworks, these particular calculators. And they are the best for doing these equations with the rigging because there's too many ambiguous answers and too many people saying you should uh, round it up to three decimal places or down or whatever. You have that one over that way, and that one over that way. Five divided by three equals 1.67. And that's our answer. 1.67. Six, seven. Next part of the equation, we go down and we go the load on the lead rope. So that's the load on the lead rope. That's what we're trying to work out. The load there. Equals Beckett load. That's our Beckett load there. 1.67. 1.67. Make that red. Plus bracket load times total sheaves. TS, TSHV stands for total sheaves. And friction is always 0 0.05. So let's go and have a look at total sheaves. So the rope comes along here, hits that sheave. That's one. Let's draw that there. And then it goes up here and it hits that sheave. Bang. Then goes down and hits that sheave. Bang. And goes up and hits that sheave again. Bang. And then hits the becket. It has hit that sheave four times. So the total sheaves is actually four. Up here, we're saying the parts in the purchase is three because that's the purchase there. That's not a part of the purchase. Let's hit our calculator again. Beckett load, 1.67 times 4 times 0.05 equals 0.34. Let's try that again. 1.67 times 4 times 0.05 equals 0 0.34. 0 0.34 plus 1.67 equals 2.01. So our load on the lead rope is 2.01. That's a really important number. Load on the lead rope, 2.01. Put that down here. And we put it down here too because it factors into a lot of all our other uh, equations. The load on the head sling. So the head sling's here. That's the head sling. So we've got this load here pulling down on it. And then we've got this load here pulling up on it. So there's a hell of a lot of stress on that. Basically, we add the load on the lead rope, which we, what was it, 2.01. And that load together, and that will equal that bad boy there. So load on lead rope plus the actual load of 5 tonne. Will equal and don't trust your cal don't trust your brains trust your calculators. Will equal five plus two point oh one will equal seven point oh one ton. Next equation times the angle factor. 
you know, the angle factor, what did we agree on? What was the angle factor here? The angle at the lead block is 60 degrees. So this one here is 60 degrees. If you remember your angle factors from your dogging, the angle factor for 60 degrees is 1.73. If it was 90 degrees, that's 60. If it was 90 degrees, it'd be 1.41. That's what we're looking for, this equation. Um, but basically what's happening here is because we've messed with the rope, it kind of changes the whole uh, safe working load and all that sort of stuff. So angle, uh, angle factor times load on the lead rope, 2.01 times. 1.73 equals, there we go, 2.01 times 1.73 equals 3.48. So the load tons, so the load on, on this block has been increased. The load on the lead rope is 2.01 ton. But because we're messing with it and pulling it up and sideways and all that sort of stuff, that's actually been increased. Angle factor 1.73. Because we've actually messed with that, you've, you've made that. Um, you need to increase the safe working load of that. So if you didn't have enough... Um, I don't know, like a, a secure anchor point, um, you'd have to make sure or the, the, uh, the sheave wasn't strong enough to hold that. You'd have to make sure that it was rated to more than 3.48 tonnes. Well, I hope that was helpful, everyone, and um, good luck with your rigging exam. And, uh, yep, hope to see you soon for more videos. Cheers. Adios.